The Royal Netherlands Army's CV-9035 NL infantry fighting vehicle has long been a cornerstone of its mechanized forces. And in 2025, the Midlife Upgrade program is propelling this platform into a new era of battlefield dominance. As geopolitical tensions simmer and modern warfare evolves, the Netherlands is investing heavily in upgrading its fleet of 122 CV-90s, with an option for 19 additional vehicles to ensure operational relevance until 2039. This comprehensive modernization, valued at over $500 million, integrates cutting-edge technology, enhances crew survivability, and reinforces the Dutch Army's commitment to NATO interoperability. With serial production underway, international collaboration flourishing, and contributions to Ukraine's defense, the CV-9035 NL MLU program is a testament to the Netherlands' strategic foresight in armored warfare. The CV-9035 NL MLU program reached a significant milestone on June 4, 2024, when the first production standard vehicle rolled out at the Van Halter and Metal plant in Bunschoten Spakenburg. This event marked the transition from prototype development to serial production, with the initial vehicle designated for training purposes. The Dutch Army plans to begin fielding these upgraded IFVs in November 2025, with deliveries expected to continue through the first quarter of 2027. The program's ambitious timeline reflects the urgency of enhancing military capabilities in response to emerging threats, particularly in light of Russia's ongoing aggression in Ukraine and the evolving nature of modern combat. The CV-9035 NL's upgrades are designed to address these challenges, ensuring the vehicle remains a versatile and lethal asset for the Dutch 43rd Mechanized Brigade and its NATO allies. At the heart of the CV-9035 NL's transformation is the new D-35 turret, which repositions the 35mm Bushmaster III cannon to improve balance and streamline ammunition handling. This turret, developed with significant input from Dutch industry, enhances the vehicle's firepower while maintaining its compact design. The integration of the Elbit Iron Fist Active Protection System is a groundbreaking addition, making the CV9035NL the first NATO vehicle to operationally deploy this technology. The Iron Fist APS can intercept anti-tank rockets and missiles, significantly boosting crew survivability against advanced threats. Complementing this is the inclusion of a dual-spike LR-2 anti-tank guided missile launcher, which provides precision strike capabilities against armored targets at extended ranges. These enhancements ensure the CV-9035NL can engage a wide spectrum of threats, from enemy armor to fortified positions, with unparalleled effectiveness. Beyond firepower, the MLU program prioritizes situational awareness and crew comfort. The electro-optical panoramic sight, a mass-mounted system equipped with day and thermal cameras and a laser rangefinder, delivers 360-degree visibility, enabling crews to detect and engage threats in complex environments. This is particularly critical in urban warfare, or contested regions like those where Dutch forces operate as part of NATO's enhanced forward presence in Lithuania. Posts on X have highlighted that some CV-90s deployed in Lithuania already feature modernized hulls and rubber tracks, though they retain older E-35 turrets during the transition to the D-35. The introduction of rubber tracks, developed collaboratively by Sousi International and BAE Systems Heglands, reduces noise by 10 decibels and vibrations by 65%, improving crew endurance and reducing mechanical wear. These tracks also enable future upgrades by lowering the vehicle's weight, demonstrating the program's forward-thinking design. The CV9035NL MLU is as much a triumph of Dutch industry as it is a military achievement. Over 20 Dutch companies, led by Van Halter and Technologies, are involved in the program, with turret production occurring domestically. This collaboration not only strengthens the Netherlands' defense industrial base, but also ensures that the upgrades are tailored to the Army's specific needs. 
The Dutch Army's Kennecentrum Grand Gebande maneuver played a pivotal role in incorporating end-user feedback, resulting in ergonomic improvements that enhance crew efficiency during extended operations. The program's fourth-generation digital backbone further modernizes the vehicle, providing robust cybersecurity and a scalable IT infrastructure to support future technological integrations. This blend of industry expertise and operational input underscores the Netherlands' holistic approach to military modernization. Internationally, the CV-935NL program reflects the Netherlands' commitment to NATO and global security. The upgrades align with the Alliance's emphasis on interoperability, ensuring the CV-90 can operate seamlessly alongside allied platforms like the German Boxer or American Bradley. The program's focus on countering modern threats, such as drones and precision-guided munitions, positions the Netherlands as a leader in adapting to the evolving battlefield. Moreover, the Netherlands is leveraging its expertise in the CV-90 platform to support Ukraine. In 2025, the Dutch government committed 400 million euros to a joint procurement with Sweden and Denmark to produce 230 CV-90-35 Mark III vehicles for Ukraine, with 180 to be built in the Netherlands. While the timeline for these deliveries remains unspecified, this initiative highlights the strategic importance of the CV-90 platform and the Netherlands' role in bolstering Ukraine's defense against Russian aggression. The CV-9035NL MLU program is not without its challenges. The ambitious scope of the upgrades, combined with the need to maintain operational readiness during the transition, requires meticulous planning. The Dutch Army is balancing the deployment of partially upgraded vehicles in NATO missions, as seen in Lithuania, with the integration of new systems. Additionally, the program's reliance on international supply chains, particularly for components like the Iron Fist APS and spike missiles, introduces potential risks amid global production demands. However, the Netherlands' decision to involve domestic industry mitigates these risks by fostering self-reliance and ensuring a steady supply of critical components. The program's success also hinges on the training of crews to master the new systems, a process already underway with the first production vehicle.